Tonight, we're looking at his safety measures at Dayton Public Schools following, of course, last week's playground stabbing. We learned hundreds of 911 calls have been placed from elementary schools alone. So, to news reporter Maytal Levy digging into those calls made over the past year. I'm here at World of Wonder where that little girl was stabbed just last week. There are 21 elementary schools in the Dayton Public Schools District. I randomly selected five of those schools to learn how many not times 911 was called from those locations. I learned 378 calls were made from five schools within one year. Regional Dispatch Center, how may I help you? We've had some students that were outside for recess. Um, several of them came running in, saying that there were uh, gunshots going off in the neighborhood. That's one of 64 calls that came into dispatch in the past year from Fairview Elementary School. Regional dispatch. We had a report of shots being fired um, right at the corner of our school at Oak Ridge. That's one of 185 calls to dispatch from World of Wonder Elementary, the same school where a second grader was stabbed during recess last week. It does kind of surprise me a little bit. I randomly picked five schools and went through their call logs with the dispatch center. In one year, there were 12 calls for assault. Parents like Tiana Cornish believe fencing playgrounds will bring the calls down. The little girl was stabbed on a playground with no fence. Well, how did he even get on property with a weapon? How did he even have access to a random child? So. So it is. It's bothersome. All pre-K through first grade playgrounds are fenced. Eleven second through fifth grade playgrounds are not, like World of Wonder. An open gate is an open invitation. So if you have closed gates and children are more carefully monitored when leaving school, then incidents, you know, like that are less likely to happen. Deborah Moore has five grandchildren in the district and take safety measures into her own hands. When I drop my grandkids off, I make sure I don't pull out this lot till I see them go through that door. And that way I know they're in the building. On Tuesday, the district met to discuss security, including fences. If they can't afford the gates, you can at least afford extra security to be out there on that playground. I asked the district why 11 of their elementary schools are not fenced. I'm waiting to hear back. Now, in this story, you heard about five elementary schools online at WDTN.com. You can find a list of all the 911 calls that were made in the past year from all 21 elementary schools in the district. Live in Dayton, Mates Hall Levy, 2 News, working for you.